Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Metal Gear Survive The Zodiac um, Redemption Stellaris Neo. I'm Sirius JG. Let's get back to camp before I lose my mind completely. Watch out for your stamina, you dumb fuck. Ooh, well, there's all sorts of shit that I can be, uh... Oh, I guess one of those is just me having put a marker down. Reeve, are you ever gonna talk again? I mean, is that just a thing that's gonna happen? I guess not. Maybe we'll get... Koban Energy for completing the chapter. Is it Koban Energy? Am I just completely getting the name wrong? Oh, come on, game! How, this thing drains battery at some kind of super speed. I guess I'll go fix this while it's talking. This memory board data, I be case, wed. My memory restoration is complete. Pretty cool, huh? You can now craft an air tank. Great. I detect a memory board within the dust. What a coincidence! Begin your search. No! Stop fussing around with controllers and begin your search now! Alright, so are you gonna connect here, controller? Alright, so at least they charge fairly quickly. Huh, this is, this is two videos in a row, or is it, uh, was there a video in there somewhere where I didn't have to take a break to fix my controller situation here? Ah, what the hell do I care? I'm trying to get this thing plugged in to charge, but, um... I don't think I'm gonna get all the way through another controller before I run out of juice this time. Uh, before I call it a session. But it's hard to say. Alright. This is, you know, not... Not something I intended to have happen. The little alarm thing keeps going off. I guess it's if you hit, like, a 20% or something. Yeah. So I would think that we... Eliminated a... Did this count as... No, I guess we didn't do this. How many are I supposed to eliminate here? I thought that we... I thought that we would have done this in that last mission. Weapon restriction interceptor units. Oh. I guess I'm not... I'm supposed to do it with whatever interceptor unit means. Okay. Well... It would be all flash and yellow if I was actually allowed to do anything with it there, so. How many, how much Kuban energy have I got now? No, not quite enough to level up. And if I did level up, I would be out of Kuban energy to do everything else that the game requires you to do. So they clearly want me to uh, craft a new canteen dirty water. Thirst recovery 1000. Thirst recovery 900. Uh, let's hope for the best. Transfer to storehouse. And we, we did get sick from it, though. So, well, I, I guess I got more water out of it, but I drank more diseased water, so I suppose it makes sense that my... I shouldn't have thought that I had a great chance of not getting sick if I... Um, yeah, I should have kind of realized that makes sense. That, um... Well, we'll go refill our canteen with dirty water, but no, it makes sense. If I'm drinking that much dirty water, and every time you drink dirty water, there's a chance of it making you sick, then it would make sense that drinking more of it in one shot would increase your chance of getting sick. So, whatever. We're sick again, folks. It's not really that unusual a thing. Let's quick puke in the water before we uh, put it into our canteen. 
Required materials, empty. I don't want to. Uh, how do I refill a canteen with dirty water? How do I fill a canteen with dirty water, though? Take a break to puke and then get back to the game. <sighs> Can I, uh, oh, it's not gonna let me change it here. I have to go back to base to change it, I, I guess. Well, I've survived two days. I guess that's... That's an accomplishment, sort of. Alright, where's the map want me to go? I guess I'm gonna just not use my canteen just yet. Out here is where the member and and we are now in uh we're still in chapter three. Oh never mind. I thought maybe we'd made progress from a chapter point of view. I guess the first two chapters were just like preliminary stuff and doesn't really consider it uh a game yet, but oh, we, that involves us going in the mist, so we can't do that yet anyway. We gotta make a an air thingy me jigger. Let's craft a working air tank. Damaged air tank, stainless steel. That's all it requires, huh? Nice. I got a beautiful fanny back. Fanny pack. I think I said fanny back. It's oil resistant and everything. Doot, doot, doot. You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Pretty cool, huh? Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. It's awesome. However, the tank is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. Mm -hmm. If you're low on oxygen, you can use Kuban energy to replenish it. There is no lore reason this would you work. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid. Alright, oxygen, yeah, oxygen level depletes below a certain level. You can spend Kuban energy. You can convert Kuban energy to oxygen as long as you have sufficient Kuban energy. Practice conversion decreases with each use. Efficiency level can be reset to its regular value by returning to base camp and replenishing your air tank. Are you ever going to talk again? I guess the next time the AIs need a human to talk to to make the game's story make sense, then you'll get involved. Until that time, nothing. See if these plants have regrown while we're, uh, as long as we're on our way out here. Otherwise, it might just be a thing where I wouldn't necessarily have to record it, but I could go on, you know, off camera, just after a day of time has passed in real life, go and recheck those places and yeah they really don't give you a whole lot at, at one go of anything I don't think these things seem to replenish during a uh, single play session alright well it's uh
We can pass by where there were goats on our way, but uh Not expecting much here. Till we get to the dust. When I'm expecting us to get brutally killed. Is there something cool over here? No. There's the sound of a video processing. I got this thing auto equipped or well here's a cinematic about how dangerous the dust is um is it because I'm wearing an eye patch that you can't actually s yeah I think it's because I'm wearing an eye patch oh It really is, Dan Zybar. Will it increase when I leave the dust, though? Basically, the dust sucks. Oh. I got it, so, uh... We don't actually get to see, um, don't didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm trying to get out of the dust to see, okay. Thought I was out of the dust, now I'm completely out. So is my oxygen going to refill? Okay, so just taking the damn thing off by itself doesn't allow it to refill. You actually got to go to your, your your base camp to refill your tank. I guess that makes sense. Now, though, I just got to kind of remember to get out, run towards that light. Meanwhile, I'll try to stay as straight as possible this way because I'm going to lose my map bearing thing once I get in there. Or at least it seemed like I did. Yeah, it, it disappears on you. Oh, never mind. It just reappeared as soon as I got a little farther in. I'd say we don't need to tell you that every single time. That's kind of the joke I'm making, though. So sneaking up on them is good when you can. and deadly. I 
Got some copper, lead, and gunpowder. This might eventually allow me to make some of the fancy uh, oh, enemies all over the place. And now I'm fuking. Maybe I just want to get in and out of here and not worry about collecting every conceivable thing. Access the memory board and secure its data. Uh, that's pretty good stuff. That might count towards, uh... That might actually count towards one of the collect medical stuff that I had as a quest. Containers, okay. Headbutt it, or... You can spend time carefully opening it so you don't alert nearby enemies. Okay. Or you can open it quickly, though any enemies that are within earshot will hear you. Let's go with the other way. In other words, you can unlock it, or you can destroy it. We'll leave that decision to you, Captain. Destroy, destroy, destroy... May come across containers. Open a container. Move the bar carefully so that it stays within the safe zone. The oh, container opens when it reaches 100%. The bar goes out of the safe zone. Noises will be produced. You can also open a container by attacking it, but this do cause a lot of noise. Exercise caution. Okay, I expect this will go poorly on the first try. So maybe we should do with this. I hope this doesn't make noise by by itself. Shouldn't, but it might. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff right there. Even the noise of it closing made me think for a minute we were in trouble. Don't tell me what to do. I want to destroy this desk and get all the stuff off of it. I uh, need to destroy it anyway, but let's try to... Okay, so how does this game work? R2 move lever, okay. Oh. Okay, I guess I was supposed to move it at a different pace than I did. I don't know how long it's going to take them to find me. I don't seem to be able to turn the camera to where I want it to go. They're like right in here, aren't they? Oh boy. Get on top of that? No, you can't. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's come back here later. I get to do that, right? I think I get to do that. Still got almost half of my uh, oxygen if I can lose these guys. can sneak back in. Worst case scenario, hunger will lead directly to death. 
Yeah. Got a recipe out of all this, at least. Game wants me to eat something. Let's eat something. Uh. Got a grilled Nubian. And, uh, I could do some dirty water. Can't make me too much sicker than I am, can it? Where's that damn, uh... I'm having a hard time finding my way out of here. They're not good climbers, which is really handy. Problem is, I cannot find my bearings. I have... Oh, there we are. So if I just keep, I had it a minute ago. If I keep heading towards that light, I should be good. That was probably not the most artful ever uh, sneak in and out mission there, but um, I mean it worked. Ultimately, we got it done, as it were. But uh, apparently, if I'm wearing the eye patch, we have an invisible oxygen t uh, mask. Am I not out of the stuff yet? It seems like my oxygen is still going down. Yeah, I'm pretty clearly out of it. This guy's so out of it, man. Oh, this is uh, not our base. This is just a place that has a uh, tower. This is not necessarily where we want to be at all. Still, though, it's uh, a tower that was not in the uh, in the dust, so it helped us to get out of the dust. I really got to start using fences to um, kill enemies because um, at this point I'm just kind of either getting on top of something and poking them with a stick from above or running away. I thought I saw birds flying around, which would be nice if I could eventually get to the point where I could hunt them. Build a bow and arrow would be nice. I think the game lets you do that at some point, actually. thought I heard somebody, something coming after me there. Wouldn't mind locating some jackals or herbivores would be even better. Something to... Some easy kills for food. Jackals weren't that easy kill a kill, but um Yeah, I thought this thing was something I hadn't already looted or had replenished itself. soup. We'll just get a lot easier when we can get uh, good clean water, apparently. I love that dirty water. Awful lot like a uh, big boss. Time to analyze the data. Please 
synchronize your iDroid with me here. Sure thing, lady. Alright. Synchronizing our iDroid, so you know what that means. Captain, there is one item to report. Regarding the latest recovery. Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. <laughs> You're back? What the hell? Why do we suddenly care about you again? The body of that Charon Corps member. The one you got the damaged air tank from. Oh yeah, no, I remember. You were a big part of my success in that oh wait, no, you weren't. You've been sitting there on your ass for the entire game since that very first bit of plot. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers and guns. But there could be. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that all about? What's the deal with being killed by other people? That is unclear. All we can say is that if people are killing each other here, that is an illogical thing to do. Not like in your world, where murdering everyone you meet is logical. Okay, in fairness, that's not what... Virgil's saying. My point is, these incidents don't make sense. If my theory is correct, this game really needed Kojima. Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Continue with what you were gonna say. <laughs> Go ahead, Dolan. Continue writing your letter. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, thanks, Reeve. Thanks for jumping into the story out of nowhere. Getting back to the report, Captain. Let's fuck this guy. The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Yep. Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology, which enable instant transportation between two distant points. Pretty cool, huh? Two points. So we can use this thing to get home? Not so fast, Neon Peon. Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Therefore, it can only be used for transporting matter within this world. Think of it as a wormhole rather than a gate, you Stellaris nerds. Nevertheless, this device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before, while maintaining base camp as our base of operations. Okay. Currently, all devices are offline. To use them, you'll need to access them directly and restart their systems. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online in order to increase our area of operations. And so that you're not wandering around miles and miles getting sick and eating gerbils. You can teleport back and forth between places getting sick and eating gerbils. Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. Didn't you just explain this? To facilitate future exploration, I suggest you reactivate this one. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Guess what? It will be an accurate Open prediction, and it'll be surrounded by monsters. Do it now. Okay, uh, wormhole transportation allows you to travel between transport uh, transporters instantly. When you activate a wormhole transporter, the area around it becomes an AI support area, enabling you to receive the same support you receive at gate base camp. By reactivating wormhole transporters, you can register nearby landmarks. Paths registered on the map provide the same effects as discovered areas. Areas you've explored and recorded on your map are considered discovered, and you will be able to see your location on the map even when inside the dust. In discovered areas, you can do things such as place guide markers and stamps, among other things. Wooden fence. Barricade. Salvage missions unlocked. Okay. Because we haven't completed anything. How do you do salvage missions? Because if that's something you can do in one player mode, I'm interested. I'm trying to do a simple... Trying to do a fairly simple um, one player game here. Sorry I interrupted before. I'll, I won't talk again for another four hours of gameplay. 
I promise. Wooden fence, normal fence. So wait, which one's better? Normal fences are better than wooden fences are made of iron. I guess wooden fences I recently discovered, but it's, I guess it's considered cheaper. Yeah, it requires a lot less uh, coupon energy. Short barracks made from plenty of wood. Offer some peace of mind, barely. So this, these are even less good than fence. Than fence. I can make an advanced weapons workbench. Crafting intermediate level weapons. Okay. Well, you know, um... Should probably start putting in some of these things. And I think I'm calling it a session here, so maybe. Oh, you know what? I got one more video in me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably spend a video or so upgrading my base. Um, and then I'll call it a session. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. When we come back next time. Uh, we will be upgrading our base. It'll be fun. See you then.